Welcome back. Miami's pick is in with the 30th. Uh, before we get to that one, the Tennessee Titans took offensive tackle Isaiah Wilson from uh, Georgia. Uh, my really good friend Matt Murphy, uh, I lost my connection with him. He could not find another card to hook something up, so I couldn't get him back, so I do thank him for being on. I want to finish this out with Keith. Uh, Keith, what are your thoughts on uh, uh, Tennessee taking uh, Isaiah Wilson offensive tackle from Georgia? Yeah, and I think you're right. And I think you're right. You hit the nail right on the head, Keith. Uh, hopefully, I think the selection is going to come up from Miami on the screen in just a moment. Uh... Excuse me. And I really think Tennessee really made a good move. And uh, this is Miami's, uh, I think, uh, I got to look here. Third pick in the first round for Miami. So uh, the selection's about to come up on the screen. And they take Noah uh, Igren Bing O. Gene, uh, quarterback Auburn. That's who they take. A quarterback, yes. Uh, yes, indeed. Oh, what's the 4-1-1 on this guy? Uh, he was a quarterback at uh, 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 Auburn. Uh, oh, Auburn, SEC team. Yeah, yeah, I got to look at my uh, sports section here uh, for uh, Noah. Uh, Yeah, uh, so I'm trying to look at my sports section uh, uh, sheet here to try to find him. I know he's, I know he's on my sheet here. Uh, I know he's on it. <laughs> dum 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 dum. Yeah, outstanding 2019 year. Yeah. Tigers. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Uh, I'm trying to look. Oh. Yeah, he's a quarterback with a, a CB with Auburn. That's what I just said. He's a quarterback yeah. with Auburn. Tigers. What are your thoughts on that, kid? Do you think that was a good move for Miami to take him? Do you think that was? Well, it's just Miami's pick. No, this is not Miami's pick, is it? Yes, it was. But, okay, now, wait a minute. They just picked another quarterback? A CB, a corner. Oh, a cornerback. Yes. Oh, I Yes. Yes. Oh, you can never go wrong with SEC. You can never go wrong with SEC cornerback. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're right about that, Keith. You're absolutely right about. That. But do you think that was a good move for Miami? Well, yes, because it's already needed help with the. Uh, yeah. It's already needed help with the secondary to uh, to to stop uh, long threats. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Well, yeah, you're exactly right. You're, you're right on the money on that. And uh, the Minnesota Vikings uh, pick number 31 is uh, in. Or actually, there's two left, 32 and 33 in the first round. I did not know that there was a 33rd pick in the first round. Yeah, they've added a 33rd pick. I did not know that. So uh, I did not know that. So. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to uh, uh, just uh, ride this out. So there's two more picks left, but Minnesota's pick is in with the 30 uh, uh, first pick, and this is Minnesota's. Uh, I believe this is their second pick. The yes, it is their second pick in the first round. Yes, it is their second one. I think they may be looking to go with an offensive tackle, but we'll have to wait and see. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, Find out if they do go with one or not. Yes, you did. You did think that you'd see a run. You're right. You're right about that, Keith. And I agree with you wholeheartedly on this. And I just really, uh, 
I could, I, you, you, you made it right on the money. And uh, we're waiting for the Minnesota's pick to come up on the screen. And if they can have a healthy team, they could have another crack at the playoffs. They could be back in it again because they, they, they come up short. I mean, they've, they, they want to get back to the Super Bowl because they've been 0 4 in the big one. And uh, it's been a long time since they've been back in the Super Bowl. And I think the last time that Minnesota was in the Super Bowl was 1977. I do yeah, believe. Man, that's been, man, that's been yes, and I think you're, yeah. It's been about 43 years since the. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even see who. Uh, did you see who Minnesota took? Because uh, KC is on the... Oh, there's also a 34th pick. I guess they're starting to... Yeah, who did Minnesota take with the 30th pick? second one which that should do it for round one after the 32nd pick but that because the 33rd that should start the second round but I think this the 32nd pick will probably be the last one but Jeanette hang in there we're almost done Yeah, well, I'm trying to find out who Minnesota took at 31. Well, it looks like this is this is seen to be the seen to be the last pick of the of the draft. Yeah, and I'm trying to find out who Minnesota took with the 31st pick. We are trying to find this out, so just sit tight. And uh, because we know Minnesota probably did a good pick, I'm looking at the screen and I'm trying to uh, find out who it is. Uh, uh, the Dolphins here, just hold on. Uh, it is uh, Jeff uh, Gladney, quarterback at T, cornerback at TSU, TCU. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on that, on Minnesota uh, uh, taking uh, Jeff Gladney at TCU? Well, they needed, they needed help at the position. Yes, they did. You're, you uh, got it right on the money, Keith. Because, uh, they just don't have a uh, Exactly right, Keith. I, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. Exactly. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs will now at the final pick of the first round, the 32nd pick. They are on the clock right now. So this pick will... Uh, I think close out the first round of the NFL draft, I think. This will close it. Well, uh, even though they're the reigning Super Bowl champs, I really think they need, and I, I think they need a wide receiver. That's what they need. Uh, 
Yeah, because they need some. They, they need to add a little bit of depth to them. What What do you think they need? Okay. You're absolutely right, Keith. Yeah, and I can agree with you wholeheartedly on that, Keith. Yeah. Yeah, and the Chiefs pick is in, and that this has been a fun. And I gotta say, this has been a fun first round. And a lot of surprising picks, and a lot of picks we expected, a lot of them we didn't we didn't expect, and uh, but this I feel it's been a lot of fun. What do you think, Keith? surprised if they uh, did pick Justin Willis. So we'll, we'll wait and see because they have the picks in the second, third, uh, fourth, and sixth and seventh round. So we'll wait and see. And uh, as you know, I will be back with you tomorrow. I, and I will, I, and I will be with you tomorrow. And so uh, for the second, third, and fourth rounds, which I think get underway at 8 o'clock on ESPN and ESPN and NFL Network. So I'll be right back here in Studio B tomorrow. Uh, we'll wait, the selection is in, and we're waiting for it to come up on the screen. Uh, and it is Clyde Edwards, uh, uh, Heller, running back, LSU. That's who it is. Another linebacker being taken off the Yep. Yeah, you're right. And what are your thoughts on that? Well, Them taking linebacker. Uh... You know, you're probably adding depth, but just add another position. Instead of adding the depth, add probably another linebacker. Yeah. Because you know, you're going to have to play a position. Yeah. Yeah, and you're absolutely right. And oh, hold that thought. I did not know this, but the Bengals are back on the clock. I thought this was going to do it, but it's there's a pick number 33 in the first round. So hold that thought. You're going to want to hold that thought. Oh, looks like we're going to have a little bonus time. Yeah. From what, and, and there's a pick 34 and a pick 35, Indianapolis and Detroit for 34 and 35. I did not know they were going to extend this first round. So, uh... I'm going to try, just try to get through this. Oh. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm going to have to, I've got 40 seconds left of this segment, so I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to uh, uh, hopefully uh, upload this video. I'm going to come right back, so stay with us. We'll be right back.